so I'm making this video right I'm thinking what to say what to not say and my conclusion is that in life you have to do things that you're not supposed to do example I go to the grocers grocery store I buy water I have to do that but then I want to buy some coca-cola some, some people don't like that they don't like it they don't like it to see you to drink coca-cola one of those people is my dad he doesn't like it for me to drink coca-cola where I'm going with this is it's easier to be healthy and stuff like this but stuff happens outside of the atmosphere that you cannot be healthy there's so, there's so many factories in the world that pollute the air even if you want to be healthy when you go outside and breathe the air you, you get sick by the years yeah even if you are healthy in your lifestyle you can have someone that pressures you your girlfriend your boyfriend your kid your wife your husband your family and then you go to work and you have someone pressure pressure you there even if you work out you have a good body you box you play you do my tie you you do stuff it's easier to me misunderstand things it's easier to get into fights and speeds it's easier to say that I have a language barrier barrier in English it's easier to say if you hear me speak English that I'm not Greek it's easier to say that um, I have an accent in English I'm not English I'm Greek it's easier to say all of those things but life is simple because you can slack on things what slacking means is you want to make a melody on the piano and you say no I'm gonna make it tomorrow and then someone tells you don't leave don't don't do things for tomorrow that you can do today but you say fuck that I don't want to do it today I do it tomorrow then you watch a YouTube video then time passes and you never do the melody why, why why do it right no one will buy your songs that's why you think but then someone finds you on YouTube and says and comments on your video I want a music instrumental like this one an instrumental instrumental is the background music of a song for you that you don't know for those that you don't know and you say okay I'm gonna make an instrumental. You make it, you sell it for 30 bucks, you made some money, right? You post it online that you made some money. Some people may not believe you, some people say, wow, congratulations. My point is, don't, don't take things for granted. Even if you slack for a year, or even if you are a big girl and you say that you want to rap but you, you say that the industry don't like big girls that rap they want cocky solo girls with big nails to rap they don't want big girls that eat food they have cats a lot of cats it's uh, because society every society in the world taught us that we're nothing we have to do specific things a boy cannot be a dancer because they're gonna call him like he's a girl a girl cannot be a boy because they're gonna call her you know a person cannot be a gender that he wants because society says no you're either a boy or you're a girl you're not the some LBQ community member 
so it's easier to slack on your ideology they have an open mind that's my point it's easier to slack and not doing a melody today it's easy to slack not watching a tutorial video and my main point is do stuff that make you happy if you want to sit around waiting for your family to give you money do that if you live in the street maybe you have to change that if you're on the edge you owe five brands and you say if I don't do something I'm gonna end up living in the street then yeah you have to do something when I'm say you have to do something you have to produce even if you you don't like your nine to five job and you like photography it's hard to make money with photos maybe with the right search on the internet and Google you can make money with photos you have a DSLR camera you can make money nobody is stopping you yeah you don't I mean there, there's gonna be people that are gonna watch maybe this video and say why he didn't cut the yarn why didn't he edit the yarn out it's because I don't find it organic to cut out it's not this is not a TV show this is me talking I'm talking for seven minutes straight this is not a TV show why why should I why should I edit the video or if I say something funny put a clip from a movie or something a audio put a clip from Dumbo the elephant if I say something relevant to that why do that that's copyrighted material if I ever monetize my videos that's copyrighted material even if I use one second it's copyrighted material many people don't know that there's no loophole if you use copyright material you have to clear the material what clearing is do a, do a google search how to clear copyright material you have to pay lawyers to do that for you and contact the companies that own the project the content it's easier to slack on things than being productive it's easier because the older you get and you're not productive the more lazy you get you find the easier road on you smoke weed you do drugs you play video games you say life is good but if you want to prove people wrong you gotta be productive man yeah even if you want to prove your self wrong your self you gotta be protected and I'm making this video for me not for anyone else because YouTube gives me this opportunity to publish a video online and maybe two or three people find comparisons and my ideas with themselves so yeah and it's easier to slack to not do anything than be productive it's easier to play on your phone candy crafts all day be on instagram all day post stories with filters from snapchat all day and be pretty online your weight is gonna be like 150 pounds but you're gonna have selfies on your Instagram and people think you're cute but you're fat man you're fat you're fat as fuck nothing wrong with that some people like exercise plus size models I'm not talking about myself I'm a plus size too I'm not the I used to be I used to be like fit I used to work out and sit but I'm slagging.
the other day I went outside and uh, my bro and my mom said oh you went outside you don't do this you stay at the, at the house all the time I took a book from an English book that I have here went into a cafeteria and read the book for hours like I, I went to page 35 and it has like 200 pages I mean I didn't understand all the meaning of the book but I did it just for my concentration like because when I, you read an article online you read the headline then you say that's the article what it's saying the headline then you go on your phone and scroll your feed and read other headlines and never read the I'm not saying that you do it but I do it so the point of the book was to read material inside it and there, wa there was a guy in the cafeteria that I know him and he's a waiter there he told me did you read because I don't know if it's rare nowadays for people to read books outside maybe they read, they read books on their phone but if, even if I read books on my phone it's, it's like being on my phone right on the screen one friend told me that I told him a while back that whoever reads books is a CC let the girls read books and I think he believed me what I said because it was a text and messenger and he felt that I was thinking that and when I told him that I read a book he told me remember when you told me see I have this thing called his schizophrenia and um, have an illness and not, my friends not understand. Only my family understands. My point of that phrase is that I can be mad at something, right? And say some bull, say some say some bullshit. But it's the illness. I don't know it. What's where it's me saying something and went to the illness. I have like 20 years now this illness. And uh, I take medicine for that. Because when I go out, I think people are after me. I think they want to hurt me. I think they. I think they comment on my appearance all the time. I think they spit from balconies. All that is part of the illness. So, if I say to you that reading books is for girls, it's part of the illness. Because a normal person won't, won't say that. Many people in my life have misunderstood me. They think I'm weird and very weird for the things I say but it's part of the illness mental illness is a serious thing almost my whole life I, w I wanted to hide it I wanted to hide it from people because I was thinking if I reveal that I have schizophrenia and stuff like that then people won't want to be around me even if I reveal that to my f two friends they don't understand they don't know how it is to not wake up because you take 7.5 milligrams of Zyprexa and it's hard for you to wake up because that medicine makes you hungry at night, gives you some extra pounds, it's, it makes you hard to wake up, you feel dizzy all the time, drowsy, yeah. I think this video went dark from 0 to 100, right? And uh, don't trip. I read it because I think it's up, upside down from 
thing from the video is not upside down. You know when you have the meter, it's upside down. This is my chair. My chair does that. The sounds. So yeah. You can tell me. You can you can you can see me outside and tell me. But this illness is not stopping you from being productive. One a part of this part of this illness, yeah, it stops me being productive. Because it's easier to slack than being productive. It's like if you have four fingers instead of five, you want five fingers, but you have four. You have four fingers. I have an extra finger that I don't need. I have six fingers. And I don't mean this literally. literally. It's, it, the illness is the extra finger. Doesn't it's it's not in the use of anything. And this illness it's part of awakening and being a healer. A healer is someone that helps bless the world from the blessing of God. And the church don't agree with that. It's not a cold thing. It's it's like what people used to do before society the Western civilization interacted with money and stuff because religion how it is now wants your money. The healers is with auras and the colors of your body. It, it's a pure thing, it's not a cult. Nobody thought of that out of his head. It's a God making thing. Everyone has the God inside of him. And when I say God, I don't mean a blue orb that guide you. I mean the power to be creative and be and do good stuff. And when when I say good stuff for you that want to argue Treat someone like you, you want to be treated. That's, um, that's what I wanted to say. Maybe I wanted to say more, but I'm, this video is long, so... It's easier to slack, slack on things than being productive. Do a challenge. Do like a five-day challenge that... If you if you like to paint, start painting for the painting thing. Draw something, even if it doesn't make sense, even if it doesn't have legs or hands or arms. Paint something abstract. Make the sky purple. Yeah, or if you're a musician, grab your guitar or your keyboard and just play chord progressions and play scales all the time. Or if you like to ride your bicycle, go outside and ride your bicycle. Get, get off Facebook or Twitch. If you like to watch live streams on Twitch and you like to start a live stream, hit your, get your phone, hit go live stream and live stream yourself outside on Twitch. Make sure to go on settings and block words that you can get you banned, that people can comment. That's all for me. Stay productive. Bye now.